Hey, what's up, guys? This is Luca Pretolesi. We are at Studio DMI in Las Vegas. Let me talk about the Dangerous Compressor, my approach and my techniques. The Dangerous Compressor is my stereo bus compressor 90% of the time. Sometimes also save my life on vocals, but it's something we can talk later. As far as the stereo bus approach to me is, I want to set up the compressor first and have my mix translate through compression. This means that after I set up my compressor, I forget that I have a compression on my stereo bus and my entire mixing experience is translating actually through compression. For up-tempo music, I try to go for our knee and for my slow stuff, I go for a soft knee when it tends to make more like a soft attack and make sure that my kick and my snare, they don't make the compressor like snap too fast. On a track that I wanna play now, I actually use my external sidechain. My external sidechain, it gives me like the freedom to kind of reshape the envelope of the compressor in a more creative way. Part of my sound is the way that I treat the mid-range. And mid-range on compression is really important. I want to bring the mid-range in front of the mix and I want to leave the bottom and the top end uncompressed and free to actually expand through the, through the song. The Dangerous Compressor has an external sidechain that allows you to plug your favorite EQ and tell the compressor how to react. The compressor have a signal flow and the detector have an EQ that control what the compressor is going to read and feel. I use the back EQ to trigger my sidechain on the Dangerous Compressor. His job is to tell the compressor when and where to compress. I monitor the sidechain to be able to shape my EQ curve into the compressor. At that point, my second step is find the right ratio and find the right attack and release to give the right groove. I don't want to completely reinvent the envelope of my compressor, but I want to shape and control what I'm compressing. So what I'm doing right now is two to one ratio I'm pushing up to 3 or 4 dB, mostly mid-range informations. I do a medium-slow attack in order to let those transients go through and make sure that I don't shave the transient, I don't change the envelope of the entire mix. Very fast release. I want to make sure that the track snap really fast. Actually, I'm going to enhance the groove of the track, the movement. As far as my external sidechain, I use my second back CQ where I shave everything from a low cut of 54. I take 5 dB off a 300. So essentially from 300 and down, we, have, we shave everything and we cut. We push 5 dB or 2K. So I want to make sure that compressor has been triggered, but the mid range and the upper mid range but then I shave from 9K down everything. So that way the upper mid range is the point that is pushing the compressor, but not the high frequency over 9K. The sonic result of my compression with sidechain is to bring the mid range in front of the mix and have a little bit of movement on the lower mid range when you have more enhancement on the snare transient, on those stabs, on the synth, everything's come to life without over compress the top ends they make sounds harsh and without over compress the low ends they make the track flat so we're going to bring the mid range up front and get some excitement let me play four bar of uncompressed track compressor off Once again, for me, compression and stereo bus is bring focus to the mid-range, retain the integrity of the song, but enhance the transit response without overcompress the bottom and the top. That's what a modern compressor should do, and that's what really the dangerous compressor is doing amazingly well.